This morning I heard one of my favorite cases. You know, moving to a new city thousands of miles away is stressful, and so is making the decision to marry. The couple who came to see me today tried to work through that stress. Divorce court is now in session. I'm here today with Francis Akaburo and Navion Kittler. The two of you are here on a Before Your Vows session. You, you're together, you've been together for a while, and you want to know if you should be together forever. I have given you a compatibility test, which I have looked at, but before we get to that, I want to talk to you, Ms. Akaburo. You say you have gone through a dramatic change that has given you a new perspective on life. Tell me what that is. Well, about four years ago, I went through the bypass surgery and I lost over 170 pounds. Good for you. Um, thank you. I basically got tired of being overweight and... Um, oh, I, I see, I understand we have a picture of before and after. Oh, my. Yeah, that was me. You look younger <laughs> and woo! Yeah. Lovely. Absolutely lovely. Thank you. So, uh, were you engaged to Mr. Kittler when you, before you had the surgery? No, I wasn't. Okay. You're going through some stuff. Why don't you tell me what the problems are and why you're not sure marrying Mr. Kittler would be the thing to do? Well, Mr. Kittler and I have um, gone through a lot of things in the past. Jealousy um, has been an issue. Trust has been an issue. And anger has been an issue for me. So, leading forth, I just wanted to know if certain things would change prior to um, taking the next step. Okay. Mr. Kittler, what do you think the main problems in your relationship are? Well, for starters, it was the, the lying. You know, when I first met her, everything was based upon a lie. Tell me, you know, tell me about well, that. Well, when I first met her, uh, I met her, we was driving. We was pulled side by mm -hmm. side and kind of signal each other, like, you know, let me get your number. You know, so make a long story short, we stopped and we changed numbers and everything and we found out that our families was like less than a block apart on the mm -hmm. same street. Mm -hmm. So uh, the things that she basically lied about was the car that she drove wasn't hers. I mean, she told me that it was hers, but it wasn't. She mm -hmm. told me that the house she lived in was hers, but, but in it actuality wasn't. it was her mother's, uh -huh. you know. So, and uh, come to find out it was a guy that was actually living there with her you know, in the, in the house, in the back house, he was in and out, you know, she told me that. Now, when she told you these things, was it really early on in the relationship? And how did you find out they were lies? Well, uh, within like maybe a couple of weeks mm -hmm. of knowing one another, it was just gradually coming out mm -hmm. as time progressed. You but know, you know it, people kind of front a little bit in the beginning well, of a relationship. I understand, I was meeting her know. representative, and I know that. But the thing of it is, is, you know, I wanted her to, she didn't have to lie about the small about things. That. Yeah. You know, I just met you, so you could have been honest. Okay. You know. Ms. Kubero, your response to that? Um, I would like to say I didn't lie. I just didn't put all my um, cookies on the table because I didn't know him. Uh -huh. So you yeah. just didn't, didn't explain, well, this right. is not my house. You, you just kind of let him assume. He it was my house, just like he assumed that was my truck. He okay. saw me in the truck. But, like I said, I didn't know him at that time. Did she continue to tell you lies as you became closer, or is that something that happened in... Well, from my point, you know, when you first meet somebody, you know, you expect them to, to tell you the truth about them. That's a part mm -hmm. of getting to know them. Mm -hmm. But as time progressed, like I said, it was just lie after lie after lie. To... So she continued to, to lie throughout the beginning of the pro uh, uh, of the yes, uh, relationship. She, oh, really? What was that she, about? Well, she had. Well, you. Well, first tell, of all, you tell had me what, what, what she lied about. Now well, tell her. Okay, tell me. Okay. She had me come into her house, and I'm laying up in the back in the back of the house where she lived at. And, you know, we just kicking it or watching TV or whatever. Then all of a sudden, we get knocks at the door, and it's this guy. Hold you on, know. Judge, because he's... Hang on, hang on, don't, hang on. <laughs> and what did the guy say? He was basically coming to get his clothes, but he just wanted to see who was up in the house with her because okay. it was another car that was out of the Who is front. this guy? He's referring to my ex, and I never lied about it. He, I ended up telling him that the guy still stayed there, but at the time that he was making arrangements to come get the rest of his things mm -hmm. because he was in the process of, of leaving. And he was very uh, well uh, aware of that. And he still wanted to come to the house. Well, here's the big lie that, that, that took me aback. You say that you, that she's still legally married. Yes, ma'am. 
Are you still legally married? I am. That's a big piece of information somebody <laughs> ought to have. So you can't marry this guy no matter what. Um, until I'm you take care of the rest of that business. I've been trying to take care of that a little bit over two years now. The issue was he's out of the country, and uh, I've been filing Service kind of and all myself. that kind of stuff. So it's so. in limbo. Paperwork is done. I went to the court in December, and I'm supposed to have my papers, so mm -hmm. it's just a process. Were you clear about your status once you two started to become an item? I was. Um, <laughs> I let him know that, yeah, I was married. He really? wasn't happy about the situation, but he knew. And that was still very early on in the, in the relationship. So he had plenty of time to walk out because it was before 60 days that okay. he knew that. So currently, you two live in different states. Is that accurate? Yes. yes. You live in Alabama. Alabama. And you live in? I live here in Los Angeles. In Los Angeles. How long have you been separated uh, geographically? Since May. Since May. Is the game plan for you to move to Alabama? I would love to, to move to Alabama, but I just want to make sure it's the right move. So smart. <laughs> so many people just get up and go and without thinking it through. So I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you're taking the time to uh, go through some things because uh, there's some stuff you ought to know. You really think she was fooling around while they were you know preparing what, her honest. father's body to be buried? You know what, to be honest with you, this woman have done so, told so many lies to her. I don't, I don't believe nothing she tells. Everything I say to him, he thinks is a lie. Divorce isn't easy. If you need help with your breakup, call toll free at 1-877-311-2222 or visit our website at divorcecourt.com. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Divorce Court. Mr. Kittler, you say that Ms. Agaburo is a, a vindictive and jealous person who destroys things when she gets angry. Can you tell me some of the things that she's done? Well, she's been, she just do things like if I do something and instead of us discussing it and coming to a medium about the problem, she'll turn around and do this same exact thing to me. Tit for tat. Tit for tat. I mean, Trying to get back, back at you. That's, yes. a, that's a complete lie. So, well, I'm gonna give you an opportunity to respond, but you say she's torn up a lot of things, no, like I'm six one, cell phones. No, I'm the one who tore up the phones. Not oh, her, I'm the one the who phone. did all that. Yes, ma'am. That's yes, the opposite, that was him. That's the opposite. Oh, uh, gotcha. Yeah. You tore up six cell phones. Well, well, the number is, you know, she exaggerated the number a little bit. But, you know, I mean... You smashed, the, you smashed her monitor? Yeah, I smashed the monitor because... You broke her laptop? It was old anyway. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm Regardless if it was old... Tell me what <laughs> brings on these fits of anger, Ms. Akaburo. What... Okay, this is what happened. I was undergoing grievance when my dad had passed, mm -hmm. okay? And he's the type of person that everything has to be about him. Everything has to be, he has to be put first. I'm at home, I'm taking care of arrangements for my dad, and he's jealous because I'm not there, upset, and while I'm not there, he's at home breaking things, having a, a, a temper tantrum. Did you get mad because she wasn't paying attention to her, to you, while she was grieving her father? I came back. No, it, 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 it wasn't was that. It, it's this, Your Honor. You know, her family have a tendency, they always want me to do stuff for them. But then when things go on in the family, they always get together and be, you know, they, I, I'm, I feel like I'm secluded. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm, and then if I'm her man or whatever, I'm supposed to be the one that's helping you out and, you know, there for you for to have a shoulder for you to cry on. Mm -hmm. She called everyone else. I called you, know? you, but he wasn't there. He was upset because I wasn't at home. How could I be at home when my, my, my mother and father's home is... is, is it's under the strut now, so he's passed away. How could I go home and leave my mom to handle everything by herself? I was the one that she needed next to her. Are you angry because she didn't ask you to come with you with her? I was just basically upset that, you know, she basically tuned me out when I felt like I was supposed to have been there for her. You know, everybody else was around, but then it was, you know... Yeah, I was but it was her out. family, it was her drama, it was her crisis. What you mad about? I was this listen. <laughs> just like mad or whatever, but it just... Her mother just lost her husband. There, there's all that chaos going on. She can't worry about... You're supposed to be like, hey, baby, are you all right? Whatever you need. And then if she don't call, she don't call because she's dealing. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, but if I don't hear from her in two or three days straight, then, you know, I felt like that was a problem. 
You know, did, you, did you call her? Straight. Yeah, I called, but she wasn't answering the phone. But then she had time to go. You know, she was going through all of this stuff, but she was still going, you know, hanging out with her girlfriends and doing this, whatever now, she wanted to my do. My best friend came to help you know. me put the obituary together, travel with me to get to go to the cleaners, pick out the outfits. Now, if that's hanging out, that's not hanging out. That's handling no. business. Yeah, grieving kind of. It, it, it carves itself out and, and, and puts it someplace else. You don't... Everybody, you know, th 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 that, that one doesn't count. Give me something good, Mr. Kittler. Well, I mean, the lies that she told, it wasn't... All of them wasn't that great. It's just a, a large quantity of them. Well, give me some more recent lies. Well, like, for one, you know, some guy that she said was her uncle, you know, from... We have an understanding. Don't no women go in the house, don't no men come in the house, unless right. we both there. Well... I come I home that. one night and, uh, you know, the guy that I found out, it wasn't her real uncle. He all up in the house. You know, What so was he doing in there? I, well, I couldn't catch him. Can I say something? <laughs> Who was in the First house? First of all, the guy who he says is not my uncle, I believe him to be my uncle because I've known him since I was born. These people came to the house around the time that my dad died, okay? He came to the house because he was the individual that was going to do his hair at the time at the mortuary. So he came to the house so I can give him supplies that he needed to do my dad's hair. And this is the same individual that he just had an argument with a day before at my mother's house. Everybody saw the argument. And he knew who this person was. He might not have been a blood uncle to me, but he was close enough to my family where I'm just he felt to like he was my uncle. What are you doing up in my house? She just told you. No. And he didn't care. The that... house that he was supposed to be over was her mother's house, not our apartment. You really think she was fooling around while they were you know preparing what, her honest, father's body to be buried? You know what, to be honest with you, this woman have done so, told so many lies to her. I don't, I don't believe nothing she tells Everything me. I say to him, he thinks is a lie. Is there something your intended should probably know before you marry them that she doesn't already know? And you said, I am seeing somebody in Alabama. If you would like your case to be heard on Divorce Court, call us toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or log on to our website at divorcecourt.com. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Divorce Court. Give me... I'm going to give you one more chance, Mr. Kettler, to tell me something <laughs> that she's lied about that you found suspicious and that... Oh, well, that's easy. Well... She left one day to go to work. You know, she put on her uniform and everything to go to work. And then I called the job. And, you know, for once, you know, they said she busy. Okay. Then I called back. And mind you, I wasn't calling to check up on her. You I'm just, just used to calling because that's what I did on a daily basis. You know, we called each one another. Right. So the last time I called, they told me that, oh, she wasn't here today. So I'm like, wasn't here today. When I heard that, it's like, come on now. What Where happened? I think that's a lie, Your Honor. He has oh, called me God. at the job, and I worked at, at the airport. First of all, if it's busy and operational, I can't always come to the phone. I'm, I'm dealing with mm -hmm. passengers. So if I can't get back to him when he wants me to, then it's an issue I to got him. You. Well, we've been talking about all the unpleasantness. What, now I want to know why you're even considering getting married to one another. So I'm going to start with you, Ms. Akaburo, and why don't you tell me in 90 seconds or less why Mr. Kittler is a man you're willing to leave California and go to Alabama for? Well, besides the other problems that we have, he is a really caring individual. Um, he is very emotional. He is very sensitive. It's just I know that there's things that he has to work on. Um, I know nobody is perfect. There is qualities in him as far as being a God-fearing man, being a good man, and, you know, just things that I know that Gradually, he will need help on. I'm willing to go there with him, but I just want to... I really want to know if he's going to work on these specific mm -hmm. um, things um, leading on further into the relationship, if, if it goes that route. I would never hire you to do PR for me. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Kittler, can you do any better? Yes, ma'am. Well, for one, this woman, you know, for one, what you see is what I created. You know, th this, I mean, because... She, I mean, right now, this is the woman... The woman that you see is the woman that I pretty much put together. 
you know, because How's before, that? because before, you know, she wasn't, she was, she never dressed like this. Mm -hmm. She never, you know, it, she had a, a like a low self esteem problem that mm -hmm. when I got with her, I had to embrace and boost that, mm -hmm. you know, because they were very low, mm -hmm. you know. So I'm not saying like I created it like that, but you know, she is a very loving person. She's smart. She's she's considerate. She'll give you the shirt off her back, you know, if she had to. You know, she's understanding. You know, we we relate. You know, we are on one accord with a lot of things, especially the way we think. You know, our hearts are both in the right place. And I think it is some, um, her, she is a genuine person. You know, and the fact, the problems that I do have, those are factors, other than the being married mm -hmm. issue, you know, those are problems that I can deal with. But I can't deal with the fact that she's still legally married. Yeah, yeah, and, and nothing, you, you can't get married when, when she's legally married. Yes, you did a much better job. She started off a little shaky, <laughs> but you really got good. Now, I gotta go over here to the compatibility test. Yes, and usually I think the most interesting part of the compatibility test is where you tell the other person what's wrong with them and you also tell me what you think is wrong with you. That did, that one got blown away. <laughs> blown away. By question number six, where I asked, is there something your intended should probably know before you marry them that she doesn't already know? And you said, I am seeing somebody in Alabama, but it's not that serious. Yes. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm uh, you know, when I left, no, no, I'm gonna be honest with you. You know, I uh, only been down there, what, about a month and a half, you know? So the, the young lady that I met, you know, she was basically a person that she realized that I wasn't from there. So when she noticed that, so, we... So she slept with you to make you feel better? No, 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 no. It wasn't no sleeping involved yet. In divorce court, people tell me the most intimate details of their lives. Join the conversation and share your experience on our Twitter page, at Divorce Court, and on our Facebook page. See how fans deal with their own relationships. The discussion can get heated. Don't miss it. I almost don't know what to say. Ms. Akabura, what do you have to say about what you just heard? Are you concerned about it, or do you think it is as nonchalant as Mr. Uh, Kittler has represented? It doesn't surprise me, because he's lied in the past about relationships mm -hmm. still dealing with women, so okay. it doesn't you surprise me You said something in your papers that alarmed me a bit. You said that you guys were having fertility issues. We were. Why were you trying to get pregnant with a man you're not married to and already married to somebody else and he's in another state? What? How much sense does that make? He just recently moved out of state. We have been living here for about three years and this was an issue that, you know, we both wanted. So we both were looking into seeing what was the reason why we both hadn't had any kids and we're in our 30s. So we just went to see about it. Okay. Uh, don't have a baby until after you're married, you, you, you got time for that. If she got divorced, would you still be on board for marrying her? Well, if Francis got a divorce and we talked and resolved all of our issues that we had prior, then most definitely. Can I suggest this to you? If you want to get married to anybody, you got to learn how to let go of stuff. You know, if something happened three years ago, ooh, let that go. Because if you start harboring and, and, and hoarding those kind of errors, you'll never, ever be happy, and you'll never, ever make your spouse happy. And um, if I were you, I would walk on. Walk lively, get your divorce, and, and keep it moving. Because, I, you know, I don't know what he's doing in Alabama. Yeah, I don't either. Yeah. I agree. Well, I was upfront and honest about the situation, oh, I so I didn't that. have anything to hide. I, it's not you know, whether or not you have anything life to... Life goes on. I'm, I, I'm not saying that you had, it was wrong because you had something to hide. I didn't move on because you're seeing somebody else. If you're really in love with me, you're going to be with me and not see somebody else and not tell me about it on television. That's, That's all I'm saying. Okay. I'm sorry. That's my recommendation to her. I ain't mad at you. I'm just telling you, you know, if I had a daughter... You know, dude was like, hey, I, 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 bounce. <laughs> Which is exactly what I'm about to do. This matter is adjourned. <laughs> Even if she had the legal right to get married, they shouldn't have done it. He was out of state, he was seeing somebody else, and if you're gonna commit your life to someone, you gotta be able to trust them 
even when they're gone.